Eight new members, three athletes and five sports leaders were inducted into the Singapore Sport Hall of Fame at a ceremony held at the Astana on February 6. The Hall of Fame celebrates the achievements and contributions of Singapore's sporting heroes and it is the first time sports leaders are being recognised since its inception in 1985. The Republic's only Olympic boxer Syed Abdul Qadir, most be medal SCA Games, swimmer Jocelyn Yeo, and table tennis player Yu Meng Yu, who was part of the World Championship winning women's team in 2010, received their awards from President Taman Shanmugaram. The five sports leaders were International Olympic Committee member Ng Se Myung, Singapore National Olympic Council SNOC, Vice President Jesse Fuer, the late Tan Ng Liang, a former national water polo player and SNOC Vice President. Singapore National Paralympic Council President Teo Ko, Sak Myung, and former national water polo captain and coach Kenneth Key. Mr. Taman said, each of the eight Singaporeans inducted to the Sport Hall of Fame today have contributed greatly, and often beyond the traditional realms of athleticism. Through their leadership and the way they have inspired many others. Together as one team Singapore, let's continue to strengthen the Singapore spirit through sport. A total of 22 nominations by the public and the National Sports Associations were received by Sport Singapore and eight were selected after an assessment by the expert panel and selection panel. For years, former swim queen Yeo, 44, was a glaring omission from the Hall of Fame. One of Singapore's most successful swimmers, she won 40 goals at the SEA Games, her last in 2005 after making her debut in 1991. She also clinched two bronzes at the 1994 and 2002 Asian Games before retiring in 2007. She also served as Singapore Swimming Association Vice President from 2014 to 2022 and was a nominated Member of Parliament from 2009 to 2011. In 2020, Yeo's omission sparked debate within the sports fraternity after it was raised by two former journalists and national agency Sport SG said then that improvements would be made to the nomination and selection process. Yeo told the Straits Times it was never her goal to enter the Hall of Fame, but it was nice to receive the recognition. She said, It's not something I really thought about. As athletes, our goals are sports oriented. She added, Singapore was built on the shoulders of giants, and while I don't consider myself to be one, I believe that much can be learned from those who have gone before us. And I endeavour to do what I can in that respect. Yeo, who competed at four Olympics from 1992 to 2004, encouraged local athletes who are bound for Paris 2024 to believe in yourselves. She said, do it for the country, your family, your friends, your loved ones, and do it for yourself, because every athlete has put in that sacrifice, so believe in yourselves and the hard work you've put in. After being part of the historic quintet that stunned China to win the women's team world title in 2010, you managed to shine despite having to battle injury and play second fiddle to teammate Feng Tianwei. You won hearts and plaudits with a gutsy 2018 Asian Games women's singles bronze before finishing fourth at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. She was also part of the women's team that were fourth at the Rio de Janeiro 2016 Olympics. The 34-year-old said, I've won many medals throughout my career, but the ultimate goal was an Olympic medal, and I was unfortunate to finish fourth in 2016 and 2021. I went through dark times and had to undergo major surgery after each Olympics. And had to retire because of injury. So when I heard I made it to the Hall of Fame, I felt this filled my Olympic medal void, so I want to thank everyone who has supported me. Kadir, who captured a bronze at the 1974 Commonwealth Games in New Zealand, is the first boxer to make the list. The former national coach, 
who turned 76 on February 16, said, I'm especially grateful to my wife and family for the support during my sporting career. And also my bosses who gave me time off to attend training and competitions back then. I'm truly honored to be inducted into the Hall of Fame today. This is truly the greatest achievement a sportsperson can receive. The addition of eight inductees takes the Hall of Fame membership to 65. It includes the nation's only Olympic champion Joseph Schooling, five gold Paralympic swimmer Yip Pin Xiu. Fong, who has claimed three Olympic medals, Singapore's first Olympic medalist and weightlifter Tan Hao Liao, and footballer Fondi Amat.